Google Cardboard is cheap and cheerful virtual reality headset, and some may consider it a gateway device to the world of VR. Well, now Google is taking a deeper dive. Joining us now to break this down is Mark Spoonauer, Editor-in-Chief at Tom's Guide. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you. So let's explain what's next for Google and virtual reality. What is Google working on? Sure. So reportedly, they're working on a new headset that ditches the cardboard for a more comfortable and sturdy plastic design. And more important than that, it's going to have improved lenses, more sensors for better head tracking, and they're supposedly going to be building in VR software into the next version of their operating system. So it should be a better user experience all around to go up against the likes of Samsung. And let's dig into that a little bit more because obviously virtual reality is like a, just a burgeoning new uh, area where it seems every major tech company is investing money right now. Uh, right. How is this headset going to differ from existing headsets such as cardboard or Gear VR? Yeah, so I think the major difference between, let's say, this and the Gear VR is that they're going to be supporting more phones. So in the case of Samsung and the Gear VR, great experience, but it only supports a handful of premium handsets from Samsung. And this is going to open it up to a wider audience. And, and supposedly, it's also going to offer, you know, like I said before, better sensors, better tracking. So you should get a better experience than you have with cardboard today. Uh, but what we don't know yet is the pricing and availability. But uh, according to the Financial Times report, they say maybe in the fall. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought up pricing because Google Cardboard, $20 price tag, <laughs> great way to introduce virtual reality to Main Street. And who is Google trying to capture with this new headset? I mean, are we looking at gamers? Is it going to be mainstream consumers? Is it businesses? Sure. So the mobile VR market in general is the one that has the most growth potential because it uses a device that we already have in, in the smartphone. So this is definitely about branching out a little bit more. I think what they tried to do with the cardboard is really just gauge the market interest. They handed a lot of these out. They were given away. So that's sort of the reason why they reached 5 million shipments so quickly. Mm. So this is now about maybe turning it into a business and attracting developers to the Android platform as opposed to iOS and Apple supposedly working on their own VR headset. So this could be the new platform wars in the years to come. Yeah, and I'm glad you said that as well because Google's chief executive said last week that Cardboard was the, quote, just the first step in its <laughs> VR efforts. So besides this new headset, what are you expecting from the company in terms of these platform wars? Uh, well, I think you know a lot of people are looking to, like, how is Google going to capitalize on VR when it comes to content? Because if you have this headset, it's not going to do you a lot of good if you don't have a lot of great apps to go along with it. So mm -hmm. imagine this time next year, we're watching the Super Bowl and the halftime show in VR, and you can look around you and see the audience reaction and the artists and really be in your face. But I think Google also has to take another big step when it comes to wearables because Android Wear, uh, even though it has a name that people are starting to recognize, a lot of people haven't really glommed on to the whole smartwatch concept. So it could be the case that in 2016 that VR is going to start to outstrip smartwatches and wearables in terms of consumer excitement. But Google has to capitalize on that in terms of attracting more developers to its platform. Well, Mark Spoonauer, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.